As they look at the breakdown of the severe weather threats for Thursday night into early Friday. The main time frame for severe weather will be between about 8 p.m. Thursday night through about 6 o'clock in the morning on our Friday. I've got damage in wind gusts as the primary severe weather concern and I have it at a medium threat level. The reason for that is we are more than likely to at least get a line of thunderstorms developing and when you have a line of thunderstorms develop that typically brings a wind threat, but tornadoes and large hail also a possibility. I have it at a low to medium a little bit lower than did damage damaging wind threat and that's because we'll be watching for any isolated supercells that develop out ahead of the line mainly during the early part of this time frame here so say about 8 p.m. to midnight we'll be watching closely for any of those isolated supercells if that happens and there will be an increased tornado and large hail threat but it's still unclear whether or not we can actually get those and if we do get those whether or not they get strong enough to produce severe weather so that's something we'll be keeping an eye on flash flooding threat I have at a low threat level because uh, these storms should be moving quick enough. Now here's a look at what Futurecast has over the next couple of days here. For our Wednesday, we're going to climb to the low to mid 60s with lots of sunshine this afternoon. For tonight, we'll see mostly clear skies. Clouds will start to increase closer to daybreak. By 8 a.m. Thursday, we're seeing some cloud cover moving in. Temperatures starting out in the 40s instead of the 50s is what Futurecast shows. By 3 p.m. on Thursday, we're going to climb to the low 70s. We'll see a lot of breaks in the cloud cover. Maybe an isolated shower or two in deep east Texas during the daytime hours, but again, it's after about 8, 9 o'clock. We'll be looking for any of these individual cells, see if they can develop and strengthen enough to cause severe weather. If not, after about 11 o'clock midnight or so, we'll start to see a line of thunderstorms developing. By midnight, the line extends from Texarkana down to Gilmer through Tyler and the Palestine areas. So this is about right at midnight when the line really develops and takes shape here. And uh, as it continues to strengthen, we'll increase that threat for 60 mile per hour wind gusts as it travels eastward. By around 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, though, the line may already be out of here. So it's, it's a relatively quick moving system. And then cold air starts to filter on in out behind it. And we're, that will lead to a pretty chilly Friday overall with highs only in the upper 40s. Now, over the next seven days, temperature wise, the normal high is 57. We're going to climb up to 71 before the front moves in and brings that severe weather, but it's going to lead to a lot uh, a cooler Friday for us. We'll warm up a little bit for the weekend, but then look what happens into next week. Some of the coldest air uh, since December of 2022 starts to move on in, so it's going to get quite cold and next week. We may stay below freezing from late Sunday all the way through Tuesday afternoon. And we also see a potential for a wintry mix for the areas highlighted in pink here. Uh, this is pretty much all we know right now that it is a possibility. We're still waiting to get a little bit closer to the day to iron out the exact details and what kind of impacts we'll see. So make sure to keep up to date with the latest forecast on that. For today, we climb into the low 60s. We'll see some morning clouds, otherwise some gusty winds for our day today. And then for tonight, we'll drop down to the low 40s. Clouds will increase overnight in deep east Texas. Otherwise, we are staying mainly clear. Here's your seven day forecast. Now we are going to see a wintry mix possible late Sunday into early Monday and then a hard freeze heading into Tuesday morning where temperatures will drop down into the tens.